We'll now have a look at some modelling improvements inside SOLIDWORKS 2017. So we'll switch to SOLIDWORKS and I'll begin by opening up our sub-assembly. We'll go ahead and create a section view. So most people will be familiar with creating a section view inside SOLIDWORKS. It's just a case of simply selecting a plane or multiple planes and then sectioning using those planes and then using the drag handles to adjust the position of your section. If we go over to the property manager on the left hand side, we have a new option in here to transparently section components. If I toggle that on, I'm just gonna pick some of my components and you can see from the section that when I drag these handles, where it sections those components, it leaves them transparent rather than removing the view of them altogether, which just means that you can see what's going on in a section view much better with a bit more context. You can also choose what your transparency level is as well, like so. Now we'll just go ahead and open up a part. Now the next improvement we see is to the thread tool. Now the thread feature was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Uh, there have been a couple of tweaks to it within the 2017 release. So let's go ahead and have a look at those. I'll launch the thread tool and it works in very much the same way as it did before. So first thing it's asking us for here is our thread location. So we're gonna start it on that edge. And at that point, we see a preview of the thread. We can choose how many revolutions we want. So I'll go for two here. We can choose what size we want and also the pitch. So I'll just increase the pitch here to, to one. We can choose whether we cut the thread or extrude the thread. So in this instance, we're extruding the thread. And also what I want to do here is mirror the profile. Now, if we have a look at the preview here, the thread is, is starting from here. Now that's not really going to be realistic. What would normally happen is you'd have a lead in. And the way you achieve that lead in is by adding in an offset. So let's just go ahead and add in a half mil offset sitting above our face like so. So that's exactly how it was before. Now in terms of what's different within this release, we now have the option to create a multiple start thread within our thread options here. So before, what we'd have had to do there is actually just create the thread and then circular pattern it. You can choose exactly how many instances you want. In this instance, I only want two. Um, now, because it's cut, um, extruding the thread, what also happens here is we would actually see this material above the face, which we wouldn't actually want, and we would need to cut that away afterwards. We now have a new option in here to trim with start face, which does that process for us automatically. So rather than taking a couple of features to achieve this, we can do it all within a single feature. The next improvement we see is to the sweep tool. So I want to create the lead out on this thread here. Now I already have some sketches within my model that I can use uh, for this. So I have this line here, which is gonna act as my sweep path. And what I would normally do here is open up a sketch on this face, convert the edges of the face to sketch lines, and then sweep that sketch along the path. Now when I go into my sweep feature, it's actually possible for me to select a face directly rather than having to convert to a, a sketch, making the whole process much, much quicker. We'll just do the same on the other side. Like so. The final improvement we see is to circular patterns. So again, if you use SOLIDWORKS, you'll be fairly familiar with circular patterns. We'll just launch the tool. You choose the feature that you want to pattern and the axis that you want to pattern it around. Now at the moment, we are patterning this 160 degrees, a total of eight instances. Now new to 2017, we have the option to add in a second direction. So if I toggle direction two on, you can see that I can choose to include additional instances at spacing of, uh, of my choosing. We also have the option in here to do a symmetric circular pattern 
as well. So some nice improvements to the tools there. Just to summarize, we've seen transparent section views, thread feature enhancements. We can now sweep using a face rather than sketch lines, and we have a bi-directional circular pattern. Thank you.